What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to download and install all the tools we need to start building out our dental website with Python and Django. Alright guys, in this video, we're going to start setting up all the tools we need. But before we get started, if you like this video, want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to check out Codemy.com, where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so like I mentioned in the last video, we're going to build out this dentist website. It's a sort of a chance to learn how to make some money with our coding skills so we can go around our local town or our local area or our local community, whatever, hit up all the dentists. If they don't have a website, say, hey, I'll build you, I'll build you this website. How's the thousand bucks sound or whatever. So first things first, we need to download and install several tools. Now we need obviously Python itself. We need some sort of text editor, something to write our code on, and we need some sort of terminal to run our commands on. And the, the terminal I like to use is the git bash terminal. So we're going to download and install that for Windows. If you're on Linux or Mac, you can use the terminal that just comes with Linux or Mac. Just go up to the little search thing on your computer, type in terminal, it'll pop right up. Most of the commands are the same for that as they are for git bash. You know, the directory structure is a little different. If we save it to our C drive, obviously a Mac doesn't have a C drive, but you just save it to the corresponding drive on your computer. Uh, however that goes, same thing with Linux. Uh, for the text editor, I'm going to use the Sublime Text Editor. I love that text editor. I use it for everything. It's completely free. It's probably one of the most popular text editors out there. Most people use it. Um, there are other text editors for coding. If you use a different text editor, if you're familiar with it, if you like it, absolutely feel free to use that throughout this uh, series. Uh, just whatever you're familiar with, it really doesn't matter. But I like Sublime. It's it's easy. Uh, it you know. Some people say it doesn't have all the bells and whistles that like a visual code has or something like that, Visual Studio Code. But for our purposes, we don't need bells and whistles. We just need something simple to crank out our code. So that's why I use Sublime Text. And finally, we obviously need Python. We'll go ahead and download that in just a second as well. So, all right, I'm just gonna head over to Google and just search for Python. And the first thing that pops up is python.org. That's the official website for Python. Now I'm on a Windows computer, so I'm going to proceed as if you're on a Windows computer. If you're on a Mac, this is going to be a little different because Macs often come with an older version of Python. So you'll have to get rid of that version or at least install the latest version of Python in order to go forward. So uh, once we're on this website, click on the downloads tab right here and this thing pops right up. It already notices that I'm on a Windows computer. So it's giving me the Windows download link and you can see it's Python 3.8.1 now. It's likely this may change by the time you watch this video. They're always updating Python. Just go ahead and download whatever whatever the latest version is. It really doesn't matter um, as long as it's the latest version. So go ahead and click this. And we want to just save this anywhere on our computer. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. It's already actually sitting there, but I'll replace it. Now, I'm on Firefox, so my downloads are up here in this little arrow up here in the top right corner. If you're on Chrome, the web browser Chrome, they're going to appear down here in the bottom left hand corner, whatever web browser you're using, just go ahead and click the thing. And then click this in order to open it. And when we do this installation screen pops up. Now, this is actually very important. See down here at the bottom, add Python 3.8 to path. It's unchecked by default. It's very important that we check this box. And the path allows us to run Python from anywhere on our computer instead of just in this local Python directory. We want to be able to run Python from everywhere on our computer. Now, if you're on a Mac and you try and install this, there is no reference to path here, I don't think, because Macs don't have paths and things like that. So don't worry about it. But if you're on Windows, make sure this is checked. Very important. And then just come up here and click this install now. Now I'm not going to click this button because I've already installed it. You go ahead and click it. When you do, another screen will pop up with a little taskbar that shows you the progress. And when it's finished, it's done. And that's all there is to it. Python is super easy to install, especially for Windows. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel out of this. Next, we need a text editor, something to write our code on. So I'm just going to type in Sublime Text into Google here. And the first website that pops up is sublimetext.com. Go ahead and click on that. And this is what we want. So it notices again that I'm on Windows. And look here, we're on Sublime Text 3, build 3211. Again, if these numbers change by the time you watch this video, no big deal. Just go ahead and download the latest version. So you can go ahead and do the same thing. Click here to download, save it anywhere. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. 
Same deal, I've already actually got it there. And once it's finished downloading, you can click the button. And when you do, this thing pops up. Now we could just take the defaults for all of these. Uh, no big deal, it's just a couple of screens here. Now go ahead and click install to finish installing. Same thing, another screen will pop up with a little taskbar showing you the progress. And as soon as it finishes you know, installing, you can just click OK or whatever and get out of there. I'm not going to do this again. I've already installed it on my computer. Now to run Sublime Text, just go to your Windows Start menu or search area or whatever and just type in Sublime and it'll pop up. Go ahead and click the thing. And when you do, this is what you'll see. Just a basic text editor. No bells or whistles or anything. We don't need any bells or, wh or whistles to do this. Uh, this is all we need. And we're good to go here. So finally, the last piece of uh, software or tool that we need is the git bash terminal. Now you can use terminals like the command prompt or PowerShell that come with Windows. The commands are slightly different than what I'm gonna be doing on the git bash, so I don't recommend it. It's a little harder to use version control git for on the command prompt and uh, PowerShell, so I don't recommend using those, but you may be able to get away with it. What we want here is this git-scm.com link and here is the website. And again, 2.24.1 is the current version. If it's a different version by the time you watch this video, doesn't matter at all. Just download the latest version. And you'll notice there is a Mac and a Linux version of this. So if you want to follow along exactly with me with this course, and you don't want to use the terminal that comes with Mac or Linux, you can download and install this. And I'll leave that to you if that's what you want. But you really don't have to. The terminal that comes with Mac is a really great terminal, Linux too. And it works just fine. You could just use that. And like I said, most, if not all of the commands, well, not all of them, there's a couple of commands that I'm going to be typing that are slightly different on a Mac. I'll try and point those out as we go along, uh, but it's just at the very beginning when we're setting things up. And uh, if you can't figure it out, you can always Google it and get an answer immediately. So go ahead and download this. Again, save this anywhere. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Again, I've already actually have it there, so <laughs> uh, it's going to override it. And again, come up here and when you're finished downloading, go ahead and click it. And when you do, this screen pops up. Now this installation is a little bit weirder than the others we've seen so far. And you'll see why in just a second. Well, I'll tell you why. There's like 20 installation screens with options you can choose going through here. And the secret to this thing is we don't need to change any of these things. We can take the default for absolutely everything that comes up. So I'm just gonna click, click next a bunch of times and ignore all this stuff. I will mention right here, it's asking us what text editor we're gonna be using. And Sublime is the, t is the default. But if you're using a different text editor, you do not have to come through here and find it and click on it. You can just ignore this whole thing completely. We're not gonna integrate this thing into the text editor, so we don't care about this. So just click next, and next, and next, and next, and next, and next. Just a ridiculous amount of screens. Next, next. And then finally you get to this, I click the install button. Again, I've already installed this on my computer, so I'm not gonna do it again. You could do that, just takes a second to install. And once it's finished installing, just go to your Windows Start menu and type in G-I-T, and it should pop up. If it doesn't, type in bash as well, get bash uh, in your Windows Start menu. It should pop right up. And when it does, this is basically what it looks like. Now, this is my command prompt. It says Codemy at Codemy. Yours will be something different whatever your logged in Windows username is, that will show up there. Um, but that doesn't matter at all. It doesn't matter what it says there. And uh, that's pretty much it. So we are one step closer to starting to build out this wicked awesome dental website. We've got all the tools that we need. Now we're also gonna have to download and install Django, but we're gonna do that from the command prompt. And we'll probably start to do that in the next video. And uh, super simple, even easier than installing these three things that we just installed here. So in the next video, we'll start to build out this project. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership, you pay just $49 to access all my courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 70,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com, and we'll see you in the next video.